I'm going to chat to you about the very good reasons why scaled practice is important. First of all, the obvious thing is that it helps to improve intonation. If you can't play your violin in tune, then it can sound terrible and you know that. So constant practice of making sure intonation isn't just almost right, but it is exactly right, is really important. And that's a left hand function that can be practiced uh, using scales. Now you need to learn the basics. So for example, um, you need to learn your uh, two octave scales starting on an open string, starting on G, etc. And then starting on a first finger, that's A flat and A on the G string, and then B flat and B on the G string and once you've got those patterns you're away. Now once you've learnt them you can take your eye off the music and shift your attention to one of the aspects of practicing scales that isn't emphasised nearly enough and that's the development of right hand technique. So that's what happens with the bow. So you need to be able to look at what you're doing with the bow, contact place on the string, where it ends up in terms of the length of the bow stroke and so on. And then what you can do is use those scales for practicing all the different bowing techniques that you'll be called on to do when you are playing your violin. For example, the detaché stroke, just separate bows. Detaché simply means separate or detached. But then all the other types of bowings, slurred bowings, two notes to a bow, four notes to a bow, an octave to a bow, etc. And then the subtleties of different bowing techniques such as a spiccato effect, staccato and martelé. Now if you, I'll cover those individually in separate videos, but if you can practice all of those things you'll guarantee that you'll become a good violinist. That's all. Bye for now.